Hey everybody, how's it going? Dan Schinder here live on Drum Talk TV. Um, I'm behind the camera. My wife is busy uh, right now, so I'm, I'm alone. She's usually the one running the show here. Uh, we're going to geek out on gear, then I'm going to play three things, Santana, Pink Floyd, and Genesis. And uh, I thought we'd talk about gear. So um, if, if you want to geek out on gear, spend some time with me. There's my kit from the front. I'm going to get up close and kind of show you everything from back here. I think I'll, I'll do it from, you know what, let's see. I will start here. So the sizes of the drums, 8, 10, the blue ones, 8, 10, uh, 13, 14, 24. Tell me where you're watching from. I'm in Globe, Arizona. Then we got 16 and 18 back there. I actually have three drums that are not set up with the kit. Uh, I've got my 14-inch uh, Phoenix Drum Company hammered brass snare there and an old Thomas snare there. I'll kind of give the history of everything. My two timpani drums, Slingerland pedal tune timpani drums, 27 and 29-inch. Weird sizes. Tell me where you're watching from. I'm in Globe, Arizona, geeking out on gear. I'm going to give a rundown of all my gear, my cymbals too, but I'm going to come back here to do that and i fixed the audio issue from yesterday man what a ding dong so i had a light right there that was going out on the fritz and it was actually interfering with the radio signal <laughs> hey um and then i grabbed the microphone turned it off here's my new throne i'm so excited about that it's a it's by a head and it's the spinal glide and i love it i might as well start down here i guess Axis pedals, not the long boards, the other ones. Um, I'm actually sending them out Monday to get customized with um, Lucas Jacobson's Quick Torque Cam. I've got really fast feet. Well, actually, my right foot. Really, really fast. But I tried his product. I love it. It's on another pedal that I have uh, across the room over there. And I'm going to switch them out, send mine to him. And I've got the Axis hi-hat stand as well. Um, and those beaters are cherry wood from Kevin Feeney of creativepercussion.net. My snare drum I'll hold up in a little while. It's a, uh, it's got a trick throw off. It's by Phoenix Drum Company. Thank you, Philip Gelb. Talk out, check out phoenixdrumco.com. Hang out. We're going to geek out on gear. I have a question. What do drummers argue about the most when it comes to gear? Is it sticks? Is it heads? Is it drum brands, shell material? So let's start over here with the timpani drums. As I mentioned, they're Slingerlin, 29, 27. Got them in 1977. I'm the second owner. They're pedal tuned. And um, up here, again, from Kevin Feeney of creativepercussion.net. If you know them, tell them I'm showing this off. <laughs> Share it. Share the video to other gear geekers. Uh, that's a hat stack, and he's got a hex stack line of much bigger sizes. I love this one. Ooh, the microphone is blinking, so hopefully... It's not going out, uh, but I could switch batteries out real quickly. So let me know how the audio is as we go. If anything gets funky, I'll be checking comments on the computer. In fact, I'm going to refresh the screen. Whoops, that was a finger. Let me refresh right here, and I'll pull you all up in a moment. HHX, 6-inch, HHX, 8-inch, 14-inch, Zildjian Thin. I've had these since about 2000. I've had that for, eh, I don't know. 80s um zildjian zbt their cheap line and i love this symbol this pang is great it's a 16 inch 18 inch sorry 18 inch and we've got a 14 inch zbt crash i love that too it doesn't have to be expensive to be great uh and well then chris you should bail you should jump off our channel and go find that then i've got um a 18 inch uh custom i've had that for about uh, 2002 those two i don't remember actually this ride i've had since i think 1973 or four it's a zildjian and i love it uh up here is a wuhan china 14 inch got from alan kenny good friend and uh has done interviews for jump talk tv Here's a stacker I made. You'll hear all this. So I'm going to play a stacker I made of a kind of a beat up ZBT splash and a 14 inch. And there's another symbol under it. 
I don't even remember what it is. Let's see. Can we see that? It's a Zildjian. Yeah. And then I've got this ice bell. Look how thick this thing is. And I'm in Globe, Arizona, by the way, 100 miles east of Phoenix. I've had that for about 40 years. <laughs> it sounds awesome, too. And then below that, since about 2002, is an evolution. I love it. When I first heard it, I thought, man, thing sounds like a trash can. But not really. It's got an amazing, amazing wash. So we'll, I'll demonstrate everything. We've got an 18-inch, um, I think that's an 18, yeah, 18-inch Wuhan China and a 22-inch gong. And I'm using color tones, Zildjian color tones, the power stroke version on both my snares. And I'm going to mount the camera. So bear with me one second. Sit down on this. And uh, is the audio okay? Sorry about the close-up. i got to mount this on a tripod. Normally my wife is with me and we're switching cameras with a remote. But I'm going to use this one camera. Hopefully this is a decent view of the whole kit. And I'm going to play a little bit and kind of give you a sample of what... Well, a sample of what everything sounds like. You probably didn't hear most of that. Uh, usually my wife is with me doing this, but let me know how the audio is. And thanks for chiming in. I'm going to find you here on the laptop so I can give some shout outs and field any gear questions. So what do you think drummers argue about the most when it comes to gear? Is it the cymbal brand? Is it drum heads? Is it the drum brand? Is it sticks? Oh, shout out to a head. I love the Ahead sticks. I will admit this. Uh, it took some getting used to. They felt slippery, actually, and I will not wear gloves. Um, no offense to anyone who wears gloves playing drums, but it just doesn't work for me. Two things I, here's something funny. Two things I don't get. Wearing gloves, playing drums, and a backrest. And one of my favorite drummers does both, and that's Stuart Copeland. I'll be doing a tribute to Stuart playing police music and some of the Peter Gabriel stuff he did. I think that's next week, like Wednesday or something. I don't remember. Um, but what do drummers argue about the most? What, what is it? Uh, so here we go. I'll kind of show you how they're tuned. And after a demonstration, I'll play some music. Oh, no bottom heads. Two things about this kit. Three things about, okay, ten things about this kit. One, uh, I mixed this color blue myself back in 1983. Quick story, because it leads to why there's no bottom heads, other than I love the sound. Um, I uh, was going to be playing a big gig, and I decided they're all different colors because they're from different eras. I'm the first owner of everything, a five-piece pearl from 1970. Uh, these two are Slingerland that were chrome on wood from 1975. And then the bass drum, this drum, my 18-inch are from a five-piece Tama Imperial Star. Like I said, I got three, four drums not set up. So anyhow, all different colors. I set them out to get painted. They came back the wrong color. I mean, they weren't like red or anything, but it was a darker blue, and I just wasn't happy. But I had a big recording session for an album I was recording, and so I told my tech, who I knew since junior high, um, or high school rather, I said, Mike, let's just put the top heads on. Half the work. We've got to take all this crap apart anyways and send it back after the recording session. So we did that, and the drums just sounded great in the studio. I was using uh, pinstripes and a batter on the, a coated on the snare. Um, so when we got them back and took them apart, sent them to the painter, I almost said the cleaners, <laughs> and got them back and got, got the beautiful blue that I mixed myself, um, we put just the top heads on. And I, I personally love the sound, very Phil Collin-esque. So that, that's just my preference. I know we all like something different. Maybe that's another part of area of contention. Uh, do you mute? Do you use bottom heads? Do you, do you put tape? Do you put moon gel or dots or whatever gizmos people are selling for that now? Um, so let's see who's watching. Oh, my favorite Rush song, Oleg. Um, I have many. I love playing to um, Middletown Dreams on Power Windows. It's one of my favorites to play to. I love the camera eye, natural science, Cygnus, La Vila Strangiato, Hemispheres, lifelong Rush fan. I saw every tour except for two since 1978, multiple times each show. Great question. Ah, Thomas says... Symbol brands, definitely. Ah, you think that they argue most about symbol brands. Okay, cool. Hey, Sheila Klotz, how are you? Uh, from Argentina, hola. How are you? Como estas? 
¿Qué está haciendo? Buscando yo en mi batería. Uh, my Spanish is rusty. Uh, tuning techniques is another one. You're right, Thomas. Absolutely. Um, let's see who else is watching. Where's John Kinsting? Are you on board? There's Omar. Love my drum kit. Thank you so much. It is very prog. Walter White, Diego Robles. You're goddamn right. Say my name. I should. Oh, I don't have my other glasses here. I look even more like him. <laughs> Frank from Niagara. How are you? Ashish. In Nepal, how are you? Ashish, you change your name on Facebook like every two months. What's up with that? Who are you running from? Thanks for joining us anyways, Chris. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. I'm going to play some music, and then I'll look for questions after that. Um, I'm going to give you a hint. Hello from Nepal. Also, wow, two from Nepal. Lucas Jacobson, you need flathead tuning hoops. Hmm, I'd have to check those out. I'm so used to my hoops. I don't know about that, but we'll check it out. Uh, Ginger Baker. Oh, they argue over Ginger Baker. Todd, you're so right. And I interviewed Nettie Baker and Kofi Baker together a couple months ago. All that stuff's on our Drum Talk TV channels, all of them, except for Twitter. They're all on Instagram, YouTube, Vimeo, and of course, right here on Facebook. So um, I'm going to give you a hint. This is going to be hard. No one's going to guess this. I'm going to play a Santana song from Tanglewood, 1970. And I'll give you a hint. I'm dedicating it to my wife, who's not here helping us. She's upstairs working. So let's see. My wife is a woman. So there's hint number one. Um, she's quite magical. Okay. What else can I tell you? Oh, she happens to be black. No one's ever going to get this. I'll just play the song. Oh, and I'm also, hey, from Ohio, Curtis. Thank you. I'm not schooled on Latin beats, so they absolutely intrigue me. And this is for Michael Shreve, whose birthday was last Monday, who's playing drums on this, killing it on a four-piece. Um, so I'm faking my way through Latin beats, okay? And I do this neat cross-sticking thing where sometimes I'll do this. What? Check this out. You can see my snare, right? Yeah. So sometimes I do this. Sometimes I'll do it across and skip the rim and hit my cowbell. Sometimes I'll hit both. Sometimes I'll do this. Totally different sounds. Whoa, hello. I'm new at this, okay? All right, so here we go with um, some Santana. Got to move the phone off my timpani drum. Thanks so much for taking time out with me. Whether you're watching this on the archive or live, I'd love to get your take on some of this stuff. Oh, wow, Pink Floyd first. I said Santana, so let me skip to Santana. Sorry, Pink Floyd. <laughs> Whoa, that, uh, oh, hello. Man, I'm really goofing up here. Here we go. All right. Here's Santana right after this commercial. Sorry about that. Jeez. Um, operator error for sure. All right. So um, if you're watching this on the archive, I still would love to hear your answers to the questions. Let me scoot up to where the songs are. Bear with me. Wow, I had all this together. Here we go. All right, it's right after this song. If you're a Santana fan, what's your favorite album or song? Oh, wow, someone got it. Black Magic Woman. How'd you guess that? <laughs> Good one, Omar. And Mike Skinner says, loving the analysis of drummers picking out some tips I missed. So that's cool. Yeah, that's something that makes us all different. Um, and this song's going to end in a moment, and I can get to Black Magic Woman. But drummers, more than uh, guitar players and keyboard players, tuba players, and... Hold on. Bear with me. And... And other, um, man, other musicians, we share more, right? Would you agree? We share tips more. We talk about gear more. We're, we're a lot more communal. So like I said, I'm, I'm not great with Latin rhythms, but let's see uh, what happens here. How's the audio? Is it okay? Uh, I'll show my, you know what? I'm going to show my snare now. Thanks for asking and reminding me, Thomas. Um, I'm going to put the mic in the holder. It's a Phoenix Drum Company hammered brass snare. 
and it's the most versatile snare drum I've ever played. I play jazz, I play swing, big band, fusion, I play Zeppelin, Deep Purple, I play Prague. I love this, metal, um, and, and it's got a trick throw off. What's unique about it is most drums just have this small hole. The problem with that is it's not big enough for all the sonic pressure to escape the drum with the impact you're giving it. So Philip Gelb invented the patented ghost port, and you can kind of see in there the tube. Can you see that? It's like a, a ported speaker, so it helps all that pressure exhaust, and it eliminates um, overtones. I'll demonstrate. I love, love, love this drum. I just don't know how to put it in a stand. There we go. Okay. All right, here we go with Santani.
least gave a warning that I'm not great at Latin beats, but that's why I play that stuff, because I'm not good at it. I'm working on it. It's a challenge. Okay, so now let's switch to something that I think is kind of, I don't want to get too deep, but something socially topical. What I'm going to do is cool it down a little bit. No, I'm not. I'm going to do the, I'm going to follow Dr. Nadia Azar's advice. I'm going to cool down afterwards with Pink Floyd. And first, I'm going to play uh, some Genesis, live Genesis with Bill Bruford on drums with Phil Collins. And I'm going to check out some more. Oh, Brian, thanks again for joining me. Brian uh, was uh, on board yesterday for our audio tobacco where um, a fluorescent light was blitzing out. So, Brian, this is what happened in et al. for all of you. The, the light was fritzing out and interfered with, the, interfered with this wireless signal. That's what the popping was. On top of that, one of the times I grabbed the mic, I clicked it off, and I'm giving a tour of the kit with, like, no audio. Uh, this is what happens when my wife doesn't work with me. She's upstairs working again, but I got it together. Thanks, everybody, so much. I'm glad you like this snare, Edimur. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Brandon Koo, what's going on? Brandon's watching all the way from Singapore. Hope you're doing well. Thanks, everybody, for the nice comments. Let's jump into it with some Genesis. This is one of my favorite things to play, any version of this song. I picked this one. We're picking it up already in action. Here we go. Nineteen seventy-five. Um, selling England, but I'm, I mean, um, Trick of the Tail tour. First tour with Phil singing vocals, and it's before Chester. It's Bill Bruford on drums. Here we go. Some really fun drumming here. Really fun.
commercial, right? It's the final ending. Right. Some Genesis for you here on a Sunday afternoon. Well, it's afternoon where we are. Where are you? Whew. I'm going to take a quick drink of water. So that's a bootleg from Genesis Live 1975, and it's called... Um, don't have a name for it. I'm out of breath on that. Gen it's just Genesis 1976. Sorry, 76. So it's May 7th, 76, live in Fort Worth, the full concert, first tour that Phil Collins sung lead on, and it's awesome. So we're going through some crazy times right now, right? Sure we are, unfortunately. And there's a lot of um, debate on who's right about what, what to do about this, then there's that, then there's the other thing, then the Nick Whack, Patty Whack, Sticky Dip, Your Crack, there's all these different things, right? So it's creating some division. There's down, there's out, there's up, there's down. There's inside, there's outside. And it all amounts to really, there's a lot of us and them. A little cool down drumming for you now. Let's all chill together, okay? Can we all just chill? This is live from the Dark Side of the Moon tour, 73, I believe.
color you like. Whoa. The mic. So, um, I think I might play one more, and I have an idea based on a question someone asked earlier. Yeah, Omar, Nick makes an absolutely a great drummer. Got to sing the cuckoos, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not David Gilmore. David Gilmore is not even David Gilmore. Um, you know, Pink Floyd. Yeah, the BBC one during the Apollo moon landing. Yeah, that was awesome. Bill Cobham, Billy, what's happening, Billy? Hope you're well. You and Faina, hope you're doing well. Good to see you on board. Let's do... Um, I'm going to play... Um, Something from, um, uh, yeah, I hate that commercial thing. I'm going to play uh, Middletown Dreams because Oleg brought up, he asked my favorite Rush song, and I mentioned that's one of my favorites. And this is a great version, too. Let me just find it real quickly. Middletown Dreams Live. We'll have some fun with that. Um, it's got some great rhythms. It starts out with a paradiddle pattern in the beginning, which I just love. Um, so let's see, Middletown Dreams. I have some shocking news for everybody. Can I get real with you for a moment? Some really shocking news, okay? I know about this pandemic thing, and some people don't believe in it and don't want to wear masks because they're whiny little babies. My wife wore masks for 12 hours at a time in surgery as a nurse, okay? You can breathe, okay? But here's something. Here's how close to home it is for me. Uh, one of my sons was diagnosed on Thursday with covid He's 30 years old. He's a big, strong guy. If you were at the NAMM show and came to see us, you might have met him if he was at the booth. Not my son, Stephen, who was there with me the whole time at the booth, but my son, Alex, who's our photographer. Big, burly guy, big beard, dark skin, bald, big beard. Um, Alex has it. You look at it differently. Even if you already believe in it, you look at it differently when it's that close to home. And we've it's gotten pretty close already, but... For my son to have it, and he's in San Diego, he's at home, I think he's going to be fine, but it's scary, it's scary, so please do the right thing, and love each other, care about each other. All right, Middletown Dreams, live, ready? It's great lyrics, great theme, great music all around by everybody. Uh, let's see if I can nail it, because it's not time stamped, bear with me, okay? And I'll take questions, if, if you missed any of this, hey Josh Posey. If you missed any of this and you have questions about my gear or Drum Talk TV or anything, it's Witch Hunt. Rich oh, these commercials. Okay, I'll find... Oh, by the way, the reason I'm playing the bootlegs is because if you play to official tracks, it gets muted. You got to fill out paperwork, jump through hoops. I can't do that. Okay, here we go. So it's after, I'm trying to find it here. Middletown Dreams is after Manhattan Project. We're almost there. That's Manhattan. There we go. All right, I love playing this song. It's a lot of fun. I encourage you to Check it out. Wow, I'm just trying to line it up. I apologize. It's not, like I say, time stamped. Okay, I think there's got to be a commercial, and then, then we'll play. Yeah, free is free. That's right. <laughs> All right. And again, thank you everybody for joining me. I hope you're all well, taking care of each other, taking care of yourselves, looking after the elderly, uh, especially if, if you're in areas like I am where there's a lot of heat. Just, just do the right thing for goodness sakes, okay? All right. Here we go. It's a great song, I think. A song about dreams. A song called Middletown Dreams. See if I remember it.
that out loud? Did I do that out loud or was I just kind of thinking that? Wow, I haven't played that since February. How do I know that? Because that's when we did the Neil Peart tribute. Um, well, that was freaking rusty. I don't want to end like that. <laughs> hey, thanks for taking time to join me. Um, whether it's live or on the archive, I appreciate it. Um, if you like Drum Talk TV, if you like what we do, sign up for the newsletter. The link is in the post, as is my book series on how to fix your up social media. Come on, get with the program. I'm so tired of seeing musicians whine about, I don't have any views. I can't get any followers. I can't make any money now that there's a pandemic. Learn how to market yourself. Learn how to pivot. Come on. All right. Sorry. That was the, that was the angry Dan. Let's get back to the kind Dan who's going to be helpful. Okay. Uh, yeah. So um, thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, I've got to, oh, pass the kidney stone, yikes. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, afternoon, night, morning, whatever time it is, wherever you are, whatever you're doing with, whatever hand you're doing it with. I really appreciate it. Oh, I just realized I'm not using the multi-camera shoot with my wife here, so I have to come all the way around there and uh, turn that off, which I'll do. If you joined us late, if you want to geek out on gear, I give a whole tour of every piece of gear on my uh, kit. So you could rewind and, and check that out. And uh, we got some big news coming on Drum Talk TV. Upcoming interviews include Chris Moore, another show with Dr. Nadia Azar. Maybe I can do this. Hey, how you doing? And um, Liberty DeVito in August, as well as uh, the 28th. Noon Pacific, Liz Ficolora, who created the Drum Chart Builder killer app. We're going to talk about drumming and gear and charting and all that stuff. Um, what else? What else? What else? Some other interviews coming in August um, and some really big news on the way. So thanks, everybody, so much again. I really appreciate it. Stay safe. So well, stay, stay safe, stay well and be kind. And remember, sign up for the newsletter. It's free, it's static free, cling free, sugar free, even though it's really sweet. It's stress free, even though it might require some patience, but it's really cool stuff. Don't take!